Hey guys, and welcome to week three. Today we are going, we messed with the pregame a little bit last week. Today we're going to toss in a, a max hole. So again, this is something you do before a workout, before anything that's kind of going to get your heart racing, get your heart rate up. And so we do the bedtime protocol and then the super ventilations and then a max hole. And we're going to do that for two rounds. So again, we go live today at 10 a.m. So if this is when you want to do together, we go live at 10 and you can follow us there. But if not, I'll show you guys real briefly what that looks like. So the bedtime protocol is when you double the exhale length from the inhale. We've done that one quite a bit. So you do that one for um, 25 breath counts and then the super ventilations for 30. So it'd be um, 25 for these. Again, most people on average are doing the four and eight, but you can do three and six, five and 10. So you do that for 25 breath counts, and then immediately <clears throat> into the super ventilations, which we did, which we said, <laughs> very powerful breaths there for 30 of those. And then at the end of the exhale, <sighs> hold. And this is a max hold, so hold as long as you can. And after that, just take a full breath into the nose, full breath out through the nose, and hop right back into the bedtime protocol. So do that for two full rounds. And then after that last max hold, do a few more of the bedtime protocols just to like calm it all back down. And then your body is ready for all that it's going to take on through the workout. Um, and then for the movement portion of today, we have inchworms with um, a burpee jump to the top and reverse crunches. So the inchworm, again, we are familiar with those. This is movement I like to do a lot because it's, it's really stabilizing, but it's also a good stretch at the same time. Um, so you're going to do the normal inchworm. Exhale, up. And then right at your plank position, instead of crawling back up like you should do, you're going to jump. Try and keep that core engaged the whole time. And exhale as you jump up. And then reverse crunches are exactly what they sound like. Usually when you do a crunch, you're doing this. This one, you're doing it with your legs. So your back stays on the ground and you crunch your legs up. Same thing, you really want to keep that belly button pushed into the ground and keep that core nice and tight and make the movement very controlled. Focus on your breath throughout it and push through that. And then the stretching portion for today is actually going to be, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to attach photos to the video because I have to do it on a wall and it's not the best wall in here and it's very hard to record myself on the wall. So I'm going to take photos and then it'll be in this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. And today is the first day we're doing a freezing, freezing cold shower, 10 seconds. So again, do, the, do that power breathing through it. And I promise by the end of the 10 seconds, you will be, you will survive and we'll bump it up all week.